WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup with the 4 p.m. Stock Market Update. I am filling in for Tom O'Brien. He will be back next week. Let's take a look at where we closed. Well, the ES Mini trading up about 1.23% at 48.70. The Russell about 19.55. The NQ trading at 17,445. The YM at 38,055. Gold contract, all right, 2030. That's okay. That's a movement up. Silver at 2271. HG. Our copper futures almost at 380. Let's see if we can get back to that. Crude futures kind of volatile recently, about 73.62 on the end there. Tesla at 212 and 12 cents. Steel Dynamics 112.86. The dollar still sitting comfortably right there at 103.25. And we can see that kind of come back down, but we'll have to wait on that. Google about 147.94, up about 2.03. Percent and the spy. I mean, hey, you know, we're we're closing above the uh, 4,800 level. That's uh, that's pretty good. The spy we're trading at 482.44. Let's take a look here. Okay, click the wrong one. That's such a good ticker for Spirit. <laughs> they're geez, they're up about 17.19 percent. I mean, that's a that's a fall from grace right there. Uh, let's see. Wow. So it was about 17.19%, okay. Their merger with JetBlue kind of got blocked by a federal judge. That was a multi-billion dollar buyout that was going in there. Uh, Spirit Airlines said the deal with JetBlue remains in full force and effect as the carrier explores way to shore up its liquidity, offering investors a measure of relief after uh, that judge blocked the buyout. Uh, the company also detailed efforts to refinance debt in a wide-ranging update Friday aimed at easing anxieties over how Spirit will navigate the fallout of its troubled merger. The airline lost almost two-thirds of its market value in the days after January 16th court decision. Spirit continues to believe, okay, the combination is the best opportunity going forward. Uh, wow. That was a $3.8 billion deal that just got shut down. And uh, that, is, that is quite a fall. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, folks, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday. We have Tommy O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien on at 9 a.m. with the morning market kickoff. Then we have Basil at 10. We have Steve Rhodes, then Larry, then myself. And then the next day on Tuesday, uh, Tom will be back. Thank you so much, folks. Have a great rest of your weekend. <laughs>